How's it going, everyone? I'm here with Heidi. She is an am animal welfare specialist expert. Um, she works with a lot of different uh, companies that help animals and help shelters. And we're here today to discuss how CBD oil can benefit pets and go over any questions she has as a uh, concerned pet owner and, and a pet lover. And we're just gonna go ahead and have a nice dialogue here. So we thank you for tuning in and let's have some good conversation. Cool, so how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and, and what got you into what you're doing? Absolutely, so I was about 19 years old and my friend was behavior and health at the Boulder Humane Society and I got a phone call saying, hey, we have four bottle babies. Um, as you know, those are chickens that their eyes weren't even open and oh. they have to be fed a bottle every four hours. Wow. Now at 19, that was probably the last thing I wanted to do. I yeah. wanted to go out with my friends and party. Mm -hmm. um, but I took on the responsibility because if it wasn't for me, they would have been euthanized. So I went in, learned how to become a mother to four kittens. Wow. And after that, my life was devoted to animals and trying to save as many as I could. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So did you feed them all at the same time or oh, did you give them yeah. shifts? So yeah. every, every, well, it started off every two hours and I went to every four hours and you have to get up, feed them, and then you have to stimulate them like a mother cat. So that was... As a 19 year old also really gross but yeah life life lessons wow so cat mom at <laughs> cat mom yep okay. that's what it all started crazy cat lady 19. that's cool yeah cool so you're bottle feeding them and you basically were, were their mother i was their mother and yeah. i still have two to this day oh that's awesome yeah how old are they oh my gosh now they're <clears throat> my oldest one is my oldest cat that i have now is 15. yeah wow that's yeah. crazy yeah cool Yes. Well, great. Well, I do have some questions for you. There was a piece of paper that I had positioned in a nice location, but now it is no longer available for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So, so is that mainly what inspired you to do what you do is uh, bottle feeding the four cats or is there something else? I've always loved you? animals. Yeah. Always loved animals since I was a little kid. Um, we weren't allowed to have dogs or cats where we lived, so I started off with rodents and fell in love even wow. there. Yeah. And then the older I got, the more I became obsessed with cats and dogs and farm animals. And yeah, it just, it, it spiraled. I, I knew from a young age I was like this. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. Sweet, animals are awesome. I, I agree. What's your favorite animal? A sloth. A sloth? Freaking oh love God. to like work at a sloth actually. Why? Because they're cute and yeah, slow? Yeah, they're like <clears throat> slow and cute and mellow and I feel like they're just non-judgmental. Oh, uh, so not judgmental. them all day. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably like tripping out on something. Though. I'm like, convinced that they're, they're from like a high. They're like in another universe. Yeah. Like, they're slow motion. They're aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Space walking. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, have any of your uh, animals or animals that you know have tried CBD at all? Absolutely. So, I was uneducated with CBD. I kind of thought it was the same thing as the equivalent of like THC. So I was like, oh, so we're just getting our animals perm stones. Like yeah. what's the effects of animals on that? Um, and everybody, oh, there's not enough research. We don't know. And then I realized CBD was completely different than THC. So we had a horse that had an injury and um, she was about 29 at the time. She wasn't able to walk. And when a horse is lame and they're having problems with their legs, there's euthanasia, that's pretty much the only option. Yeah. Um, and especially at that age. So we started making our own CBD products and we started doing physical therapy and along with that, and it was topical that we were using. She's still lame, but she's not in discomfort. She's a completely fine horse, healthy as yeah. can be. And now she's 35 and rocking wow. it. that's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yes. So she's up and walking she's, and moving around. Yep, still arnier than wow. ever. Do you yeah. still give her CBD? We still give her CBD. I give all of my animals CBD. That's awesome. Yep. What, what do you, do you know how much you give her? Like a, a dosing? Because she's such so a big animal. So we started, yes. Yeah, so we started with the topical and then my friend um, was the one that suggested tinctures. So we'll use just a full dropper every morning and every night in her supplements. And sometimes we'll add a little bit more for noting discomfort, but it's kind of the thing of just so it's in her system permanently yeah. every morning, every night she's getting her dose. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, CBD is a huge anti-inflammatory. So if she has a bunch of inflammation in her pain areas then that could really relieve it for her. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, sweet. Um, do you have any concerns about CBD when it comes to pets and animals? I get super confused with all the products that are out there. Okay. Um, I see some that say hemp oil. I see some that say hemp seed oil. I see some that say, you know, <laughs> bye bye. Um, you know, just CBD. And I'm like, what? What do I need to look for specifically in ingredients to make sure that my animal is getting a good quality product and I'm not dosing them with something that's not beneficial to them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So the, um, so I guess it just depends on, on people are just calling it different things. You can say a hemp oil is something that is derived from hemp. You okay. Know, yes. Hemp seed oil is something you can buy on Amazon. That's where they cold press the seeds, but there's no CBD in it. We use a ton of hemp seed oil for our carrier. Okay. So that's our carrier oil for say um, our our CBD. So we have a full spectrum crude oil. I can show you some after this. Um, okay. It's kind of like dark and it's just been extracted from the plant. It's been decarbed. So we're like getting rid of the waxes. It's been heated up so it's safe. Uh, and then you kind of get this this raw material that you mix with the hemp, hemp oil, okay. uh, hemp seed oil. Um, so, so yeah, <clears throat> so that's, that's one way. So if, if you're seeing hemp seed oil and they're not saying any CBD, then that's probably just cold pressed seeds and there's no CBD in it. Okay. Um, you know, I did notice that we do say hemp oil on our pet. It's this full spectrum hemp oil. It's still pretty accurate because it's just, uh, oil that's derived from the hemp plant. We're okay. not using hemp seed oil in that. We're using salmon oil. Okay. Uh, cause salmon oil is good for, you know, the heart and, and all that good stuff. So. Um, so yeah, so it's a salmon oil with some of the full spectrum crude oil, okay. small amounts. All right. um, but you know, something for, for you as someone that works with horses, you know, we're, um, you know, on the wholesale side, we do uh, raw material uh, where you can purchase raw material. So you could instead make your own oils for your horse and, you know, buy bulk, you know, 10, 15 grams, and then you can make it into oil. So it's way cheaper for you as a consumer, instead of having to go and buy all these bottles every time, oh. um, you know, you can give her a higher dosage because she's a huge, how, yeah. how, how heavy, like three tons. <laughs> so there, so her and herself, yeah, she's about 1300 pounds. Wow, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so she needs a lot. And there's six know? horses and four donkeys. Wow. And I believe And you're giving CBD to all of them. Yes. Wow, yes. okay, cool. Yeah, so, you know, because um, our, our oils are more mainly focused on cats and dogs. Nothing really bigger than a dog. So okay. I think for you as a consumer, that'd probably be the most effective Absolutely. way to do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that idea. Because um, it does get expensive, and especially with an animal that big. Yeah. And you're kind of testing and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And I know for a fact how it does with cats and dogs. But it's it's really experimental in the equine world. Yeah. It's something brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, cool. So I know the hemp oil one was one of your questions. Yes. What other questions do you have? What got you guys into this? What? Why did you decide that you wanted to be a part of pets and their healthcare? Um, yeah, that's a great question. You know, <clears throat> for a long time, I kind of just kept turning down the whole pet thing because I was like humans first, we got to help out the humans because humans are the ones that are going to get it to their pets. Absolutely. Um, so for a long time, it's like, you can buy our full spectrum hemp oil. Uh, that is the, is fine for your pet. You know, it's hemp seed oil and it's CBD. Uh, there's still omegas and stuff in that. So it's still really good for them. But we're like, pets really love the salmon oil. It's like a wild caught Alaskan salmon oil. It's really great. Has a lot of great vitamins and minerals in there for them. And it's just like, how we can kind of differentiate a little bit between the two oils and, you know, we'll see like difference in the colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, so it, I mainly want to do humans and then, you know, I have an animal. There are a lot of people that work here have animals and stuff. And, you know, um, a lot of people had interest in, in helping out their animal. They're like, Hey, I'm young. I don't really need CBD, but I have an old dog or something. I have, you know, someone needs help. And again, it was like, use the hemp oil. That's fine. But then we decided we should custom formulate for pets give them lower dosage because we don't want to be burning out their receptors. Um, you know, we just want to give them a proper dosage amount. And that's kind of where the whole pet oil thing came from. And it's going to expand into a whole line. You know, we do oils and we'll eventually do treats and stuff. Um, my cat is personally really picky and I have to mix it in our food and stuff. So if I can make a treat that she will eat that has CBD in it, I think that we just won. Yeah, because she's I so absolutely picky. agree. And yeah. cats are extremely yeah. picky. So if I could do like a, 
tuna, like catnip flavored CBD <laughs> treat. Like I'm on, I'm on board. Like she loves those greenies. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, she's a greenie kitty. Uh, she loves them, so That's I can like funny. put them on there and. She will, but if I mix it in with a wet food, she'll definitely eat it. That's good. See, yeah. and that's even in itself that, like, I saw. Um, I didn't have any problems when it came to the product I, I started using theirs, and my animals can be very finicky of what I give them. And so far, so good. There's been yeah. no protest of using it. Cool. So, yes. Yeah, from my understanding, you know, I'm not an animal, <laughs> you know. Oh, wow, well, okay. Um, so I almost said something like really, really revealing. <laughs> I decided not to. Um, uh, damn, where was I going with that? Um, You're not an animal. I'm not an animal. Well, now I'm stuck and I'm not an animal, but damn, I forgot. It. I was going somewhere with it and I lost it. <laughs> but if you were an animal, you'd like the taste of salmon. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, if I was an animal, I think I would prefer the salmon oil or the hemp Absolutely. oil. But, oh yeah, from my understanding, animals really like the taste of hemp. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a lot of our customers will say, yeah, their dogs uh, will come up to them and they'll, they'll know the tincture, you know, and they'll take it right from the dropper. Mm -hmm. You know, not everyone's like that. Um, you know, uh, we did give Bella, it was a little uh, cracker with some CBD on it and she ate that no problem, no protest. Um, but, you know, I don't, a lot of people aren't wanting to like, you know, dive into their pet's mouths and like, you know, do that. I don't know yeah. if anyone's ever given their pet medication, but it's awful. It's it traumatizing is. for the pet, <laughs> traumatizing for you. You just feel bad, they stare at you, especially if it's a cat. She yeah. like, stares at you from a distance. And yeah. It's like, how dare you? That's what Ella does when I clip her nails. She's oh. like, when she's done, she'll just bolt somewhere and she'll just, stare. Oh yeah. Well, at least yours will stare. Mine will, they'll get me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she gets me. I, I get clawed up and yeah. stuff. That's yeah. I get like an hour of like, I hate you. I'll, I'll destroy your house now. Yeah. You like these new curtains, mom? Yeah, no. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need those nails, mom. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are uh, they outdoor cats? No, they? all indoor cats. Mm. Yep. We have some barn cats. <clears throat> uh, and they're outdoor indoor and they're they're kind of feral but you know they're yeah. doing good and yeah. you also just put a little bit on their web and they're happy too yeah yeah cool. yeah sweet yeah do you have any other questions um i think my biggest question is I, I, that i want people to know um <clears throat> what what is the difference between cbd and thc and that this is not going to get your animal high um i know that and even in specifically like when it comes to pain management for my animals. Um, we even had a dog that was having seizures for a long time. The medication that we use, there's, there can be such horrible side effects, like mm -hmm. just awful side effects. Yeah. And I want people to kind of, and me too even, to understand more like, are there side effects from CBD like there are? Um, is it getting my animal high? Like what exactly does, what exactly is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a really great point. And that's really why we made a custom formulated pet tincture because when people were giving them the thousand or 2000 milligram hemp oil and not really knowing how much to give them, they probably were getting their pets high. The full spectrum does imply THC. So there is a small amount. It's not gonna be above 0.3%. So it's small, but they are very small animals and they're very sensitive. Um, so overall, that's why you don't wanna give them too much, but it's more of like relaxation. Because obviously I've accidentally done that to a pet and this get like more chill, more relaxed. If they have calm anxiety, like they're just chill, like, mm -hmm. you know, super chill. So I think that if you just don't over, oh, don't overdo it, make sure you check out the bottle um, and see how many, like the weight based on the milligram. We have that all broken down in the bottle. We did a bunch of research on that. Um, but overall, it's just like feel out the pet, don't overdo it, start small and, and go up because you do have a potential to get them high. I don't think they would really mind because they just hang around the house all day. But, um, you know, if I was a pet, I would It's like the cool. same as catnip. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. it's like my cat gets high all day with catnip. Yeah. The, the dog should really get high. Yeah. yeah. Everyone should get high. You should get high. And you should Woo! get high. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, I don't have a better answer for that. But it's, it's oh, definitely. Oh, no, that's a perfect yeah, answer. Yeah, there's definitely potential for it. I think in the future, we might be able to do some sort of like THC free pet oil, but. There is research showing that THC does help open up your receptors. So they're receiving the CBD a little bit more. It's, it's creating more of like a full chain instead of like a broken link without the THC. So yeah. there definitely is benefits. Um, but yeah, we, we try really hard to make sure it's a low THC amount so they don't get too much. Awesome. Yeah. Are you familiar with what CBG is? 
It's like the mother load, right? Of everything. Yeah, yeah. The mother I load. just learned about that. Okay. And I was like, what? what yeah, it's is? crazy. Science, right? Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> Science. Yeah, so when it's in the in the plant as it's flowering, it's CBGA, okay. and then it converts to either CBD or THC based on the genetics of the seed in the plant. Um, so yeah, so we we incorporate that a lot in our products because we find that it makes them uh, a lot stronger and more effective. Okay. Okay. Uh, so every pretty much everything except for our isolate products uh, have contained some sort of CBG. Okay. You have its full spectrum and we'll have CBG in it. Our distillate has CBG in it. We have um, our 20 to one formulated CBG oil for humans and uh, that has like a bunch of CBG in it. So we're just kind of like playing mad scientists here with some of our formulations and we're just noticing that they are really helpful and really effective. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that it benefits animals and humans alike. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sweet. Do you have any other questions? <sighs> No, not that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm really excited. I think that this is a great product. If anybody has like any questions whatsoever, he's the man to ask. And I'm excited to be a part of this. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want more people. I want more people to understand the benefits of it. Um, I just it blows my mind how the side effects of pain relief, even in animals, or even like our horse spray for flies, mm -hmm. or the butte that we use so, of their pain relief and if it's if you actually read the ingredients and what it says, it's it's terrifying. Like, don't use the restroom eight hours if it contacts your skin. Well, this has the same effects on it, and it, you don't have to worry about going to the restroom. Yeah, like, you're good. It's, it's not harmful. So, yeah, yeah, it's super important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yay. Well, yeah. Well, we have a surprise for you. Okay. We're gonna be donating a hundred bottles of our pet tincture to the organizations of your choice. Whoa. Thank you guys yeah, no so much. So, oh, yay. Yay. yay! Yeah, so that can go to any organization you see fit. Oh. If that's Humane Society, if that's the what's the other one? The Big Bones. The Big Bones. You know, yeah. any organization that this oh. is gonna get helpful to pets. Uh, we want to put that in your hands. This is this is absolutely amazing. I really am so excited about this. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yay! No, thank you guys. Yay! Yay for for all pups. animals. Yay! Yep. CBD see? for the pups and for the kitties, maybe even for the gerbils. Heck yeah! I wonder what that would do to a gerbil. Yeah, right. <laughs> it for like twenty years. <laughs> right. My gerbil's nineteen now. What do I do? <laughs> oh. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, you well, guys. That's all that's I had. I really appreciate you coming on. This was super awesome. Yeah. I'm um, sorry we kind of like threw you into this. And, no, thank you, know, you guys. Now everyone gets to see our, our new like recording studio. We're going to have some neon signs up here and shit. It's going to be super cool. But yeah, we appreciate you coming down. Thank and, you so much. Yeah, we appreciate what you do for the community of dogs and animals. And, thank you. you know, yeah. you know we're, we're all pet lovers here and we want to make sure we support pets uh, in our community. I'm so happy you guys did this. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm, I'm really excited. Thank you. Yeah, no yeah. problem at all. Yay! Sweet.